Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Hi guys, I wanted to just take a quick minute, just one minute of your time to show you this. My book, my book, it's coming out on March the 3rd. So if you want to own this cool, awesome bedtime meditation book, then make sure that you speak with your parents or your guardian and you go to the link below the video and go order it so that you get a copy first. My book's here, kids. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Lie down and get really comfortable in your bed. Make sure that you're super, super warm and snuggly for this relaxing bedtime story meditation. This story is all about a snail. A snail that was super sleepy. A sleepy snail called Boris. Boris had been munching on lettuce from a garden. Lettuce that he wasn't supposed to be eating because it belonged to someone else in someone else's garden. But it was so delicious. It was fresh and juicy and it was just, just right. It wasn't old and limp and dry. It wasn't too young that it wasn't green enough. It was like the perfect lettuce. The type of lettuce that you would go into someone else's garden and munch on all day long. Boris had been munching on his neighbor's lettuce all day long and he was so full. His little snail belly was popping out to the brim. It was all stretched and hard and full of food. And his eyes kept rolling. His eyelids kept closing really slowly because he was having such a hard time staying awake because his tummy was so full and his little snail jaws hurt because he'd been munching and chewing and eating lettuce all day long. Boris because he was a snail, moved very slow anyway. If you've ever watched a snail move, they move so, so slow. From one end of a leaf to another, it seems to take them most of the day. They're so slow. But now that Boris's full tummy was so heavy, he was moving even slower. How on earth am I going to get all the way across this garden, back to my garden, back to where I can just lay down and digest my lettuce and close my eyes and go to sleep? In between Boris and his garden, was a lot of space. There was lots and lots of grass, so much grass. There were hills. There were different plants and flowers and bushes he had to kind of maneuver around. The thought of it was just tiring. He thought maybe he wouldn't even try. Maybe he would just be still and quiet and no one would notice him and he could just close his snail eyes right there where he was and he'd be safe. Even though it was his neighbor's garden, he'd be safe. And, and, and if he stayed really still, maybe no birds would see him or no one would want to eat him or anything and he could just maybe hide under a leaf. Yes, he thought. That's what I'll do. 
I'll just hide under this leaf and oh, see if I can climb out of my shell and let my belly really expand. Like when you feel like you need to put jogging pants on because you've eaten so much. That's what Boris was doing. He was climbing out of his shell and letting his tummy expand so he could just breathe. Oh, oh, I think I ate way, way too much lettuce, he said to himself. He kept taking deep breaths to help himself feel better. But the deep breaths made him even more relaxed. He was so, so relaxed. He could barely keep his eyes open now. He decided to just close them. Why fight? And when he closed his eyes, all his face relaxed and all the tension around his eyes just went away because he let his eyes close and it felt so good to let his eyes just close and be nice and quiet. And when he closed his eyes, he felt the rest of his body start to relax. His little snail shoulders got all soft and melty. His tummy started to relax and not feel so full and hard. His snail body and his snail tail got really, really sleepy and comfortable. His little snail mouth started to make snail noises, like a little snail snore, like a he heard himself snoring and woke himself up decided he best not snore because if he snores then someone might know he's there in his neighbor's garden that won't be good so he rolled over onto his side where he didn't snore closed his eyes and snuggled his body down into the dirt patch that he was laying on and the dirt was all soft. He was warm and comfortable and safe. He relaxed his face again, took a nice deep breath and breathed out and then started snoring again even though he was on his side he was so so tired he didn't even notice this time poor Boris was just out cold snoring away underneath his leaf in his neighbor's garden he slept the longest time because he was so comfortable. While he was asleep, he was having lettuce dreams. That's what happens if you eat too much lettuce. You start to have lettuce dreams. Lettuce dreams are when you find yourself in the middle of a field full of lettuces. Lettuces to your left, lettuces to your right, lettuces above your head. Lettuces below your little snail body. He was surrounded with lettuces and whatever he did, he couldn't get out. He was just moving, trying to push the lettuces out of the way and there was just so much lettuce. It was completely surrounded by lettuce and he got a little bit frantic for a second and then he decided he could just munch his way through the lettuce. So even in his dreams, he was still munching away on lettuce munch 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 even though he was asleep at one point in his dream he had a thought that maybe it wasn't a good idea to eat this much lettuce 
Maybe from now on he would just eat in moderation and not eat to the point where his belly hurt because he got so much lettuce in it. Poor Boris. He was dreaming about eating too much lettuce. He'd have eaten that much lettuce in his day. Finally, he got so, so into his sleep that he stopped dreaming. He slept for days, days, days and days, until eventually he woke up. His tummy was all back to normal. He had lots of energy. He was wide awake and he was hungry. And he just so happened to be surrounded by the most delicious lettuce. How cool is that? The end.